Hey guys, on the BPG13 here, and welcome to Minecraft. Yep, something different for once. Huzzah! Anyway, this is something that I've been not exactly wanting to show you, but uh, this is what I built. Well, me and two friends have built, two brothers. First one that you're going to see here is my hotel that I built. Obviously, it's out of wood, so nothing special. There's a nice bed there, some ladders going upstairs. There's actually another floor, which I'm, I'll get to in a minute. Um, but as you can see, lovely view out into the sea there, you know, into the water. Lovely view of the rest of the buildings and the, the countryside. I also got my own chest. This is an underwater, uh, not underwater, but I guess, well, this is called underwater, so there's a lot of water everywhere. It's basically like an observatory where you can look out into the water and uh, you can walk on the roof if you wish to do so. But um, yeah, it took a lot of glass and a lot of sun to make that. And uh, yeah, on to this next uh, next shot, we're on to, this is on the second floor by the way, uh, of the uh, thing currently. So, it's, uh, okay, this is like a guest room, so, so to speak, with its own balcony. Looks out, you can notice you can see my friend over there in the distance, comes in CAA, or Gunners97 UK I think it is. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel, he's like that in the description. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's a... Uh, He's one of the guys that's been helping me, the other one's obviously, uh, the other one is uh, Mr. Palm Tree Night 5 or Recon X because he's not on Xbox. Um, so that's that. These are these are the uh, two balconies. Obviously, the, unfortunately, they're very small. I would extend them a bit bigger, but unfortunately, it'll look a bit awkward on the side of my house, so I don't really want to do that. So I thought I'd just have two single fire ones. You can fit two people on there, but. Not some sort of Titanic stuff, you know. But uh, yeah, so like I said, just I've gone down the other one just to show you the same size and look of uh, next door. We'll be getting to that very soon. Uh, so this is the bridge that was built to go, go across this walkway. As you can see, we've got the crafting room. The crafting room is obviously full of crafting benches. Uh, it did take very long to put all these crafting benches in, but. I thought it, it's best that if like you can't use yours, which I know like at least all players can use one crafting bench at once, but for those times when you don't, it's more or less meant for when you don't really need it, I guess. So on to the next bit, we've got, uh, this is a beach house, or, but yeah, pretty much a beach house that um, Gunners Night 6 you see there is walking past, uh, just gonna go and chase after him. But basically, yeah, that, this is a, another one he's built. Uh, we'll be going back to this very shortly, uh, but uh, yeah, I was just saying hi to him and saying hi back. See, oh, how cute! <laughs> um, but we've got uh, it's like, oh, ain't that nice? Um, so obviously, he's got like a sunroof, so to speak. He's designed it in like a conservatory sort of way, so it's not entirely made out of glass, but it does have the sun will come in through the windows, you know, through all the glass. It's very nice. This is the aquarium, as it's too dark to see. There's no squid in there, unfortunately. I have been trying to get the squid in there. Um, but unfortunately, that's not happened, that's not the case. I could spawn a few in creative, but we've kept this in a survival mode. So, we've never used creative on this world. Um, the only reason is because on Xbox, if you use survival, you can unlock achievements and stuff. And I want to keep this world as just a survival, I don't want to start creative in it. Uh, we could build it from scratch, but then again, the world will never be the same. Uh, as you can see, that's the second beach house. Moving on to ah, uh, this is supposed to be our watchtower, but I turned it into a, a big shack, uh, like a really big shack. So of course it does. Uh, but it's like it, you know, it has a very nice view across the across the water over there. You know, you can see a bit of the land in the distance. Um, but it's a very nice little shack. Obviously, I've got there's a bed in there, so if people want to stay in there at night, they can do. Obviously, you can put two fit two more beds in there um, if you wish. Um, so that's the shack. Moving on to the next one. This is actually Guns in CIA, so Guns Night Six UK. Uh, this is his um, house that he built. Um, he built it all. I didn't contribute to it. Neither did uh, Mr. Palmtree or Josh, as he's known. He didn't contribute. So Harry's Harry is what he's called. He built this all himself. He's got his own little pool with the England flag. Uh, if you didn't see that then, but that's basically it was not the cut line of the uh, England flag. And we've got B and Q Minecraft. Yep, B and Q Minecraft. Laugh if you want, but it's basically uh, all the stock for all your 
cobblestone and block needs. You see, I tried to put some stone in, but it won't let me put it in. Well, I decided to not leave it in there because I, 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 I thought it was cobblestone, but it's not. Uh, I also got torches, so we've got cobblestone, oh, we've got torches only. Uh, this one's mud, sand, clay, and gravel. Um, that. This one doesn't have a sign, but this will be for like random junk and so on. These are for jewels and specials, so pistons and whatnot. Uh, that's, that's that's the same. Spare chests as well. So this is obviously I could just stack all chests up, but spreading out is easier. And that one's also just for random junk if you want to. There's a crafting table on. And also there's a few windows so you can see the lovely seaside view or water view. So um, anyway, also it's very convenient for guns and CIA. So this is Josh's house by the way. Uh, it's like I said that being in Minecraft is convenient for Harry because it's right across from his house. So as you can see we had that corridor just then. I was hiding in Josh's house, sorry Josh. So uh, Josh's keep that's his keep chest obviously. He's got a nice bed down and there's two more floors. Let's see guns and CIA walk past again. Uh, but uh, basically he's he built this all himself, I did contribute a tiny little bit, but I was giving him wood and maybe blocks of glass for when he needed it. But as you can see, it has a lovely view of the water, and obviously if you go up to the next floor, you get a better view. And I think the top floor is the best one in my opinion, because even though it's just a bed and there's hardly anything on it, there's all this glass in here which makes it look a lot astonishing, and plus you've got a balcony. I mean, come on, who doesn't want a floor or their own room with a balcony? Come on! It's fantastic, you can see that big long... Uh, wooden uh, like um, pathway so, so to speak so I had to sleep because it was night so we decided to sleep and make it quick and speed the day up so there you go time sped up so like I was saying um, the reason why I was in his hotel in the first place and why I kind of cut the, the, the you know moving into this scene in the first place was because there was a creeper outside and I didn't like it so this is the final bit this is actually something that I built myself. It took a while because of the glass floor, uh, but uh, nonetheless, it was still fun to make, which is cool. Uh, so this is like a big wooden, I could say you could really say walkway, um, but basically what it is, it, it leads you straight to this end, nether, you know, the end portal, uh, nether portal, and uh, yeah, I, I personally I like it, me. I, I think it's quite good. It's I wanted the end port to be far away and honestly I made the room quite big, it was very small at first but I made it a lot bigger so it looks better and as you can see at the end here we've got uh, we're preparing to go to the end so thank you all for watching I'll see you guys in the next video